Hey everybody, Sean Sewell, Engamer.com, and we've been testing out all year uh, these black diamond splitboard skins. They're a mixture of mohair and nylon, and um, I'm really impressed with them. The only downside is the setup, and that's user error on my part, and I'll go into that in a minute. So these are a very, uh, well, very traditional skin, and they use glue and all the usual uh, mohair mix and all the things that I enjoy. I like mohair mix more than just nylon. And um, I've been using these since late October. It's now almost March, so I can give you a fair assessment of these. And also I've reached out to other split borders in here in Colorado, backcountry community. A lot of the Westing guys are using these and they think very highly of them too. So Black Diamond makes great stuff, obviously. We, we all know that, but this is my first time using a Black Diamond specific, split board specific skin. So let's talk about them. They are mohair mix, um, which is great for a little more glide, but still enough grip to get the job done. And this is where get things get kind of different. So it's up to you to cut out the nose of the skin. And I could have done a better job about that. And it's up to you to install the nose clip as well. I could have done a better job about that myself. That's the user error on my part. The instructions are, there's a lot of words, and I'm all about action and getting things done. So um, had a couple of beers and went after it. Probably should have the beers. But uh, it has worked on every tour, has not fallen off. It just takes a little bit of um, uh, willingness to try something new. The tail clip is installed at the factory from Black Diamond, which is very nice. And with that, you get only uh, what, one, two, three, four, five adjustments in length, and then one, two, three adjustments in width. So um, really make sure you measure your split board, make sure you order the correct um, size, and then measure twice, cut once. I measure three times, cut once. So I got the, the right length, and I haven't had to adjust these yet, which is great. So um, what can I tell you? I'll, I'll put some videos on me of touring up using the skin so you can see them in use. Um, they work, they work great. Uh, they've been very durable. I haven't treated them particularly nice. I don't always use it to, to cheat sheets. I just haven't been out in almost a week, so I figured I'd let them dry um, more than usual. I, I treat them like I treat a lot of gear, pretty tough. I keep in the back of my Forerunner. So it's been in a wide range of temperatures from almost 70 on some days to just above zero on several days. So, you know, I want to be uh, authentic with their durability, reliability, and performance because um, not everybody takes their gear inside to dry all the time. So I treat it the way I treat it, and they're doing great. They look fantastic, and uh, they haven't fallen apart. They haven't fallen off the split board. They provide great traction. They glide just the right amount and they're reliable, which is what you want to skin. So I use a black diamond split board specific skins. I'll have links below where to purchase them. And this has been the, the split board I've been using them on. This is a 165 wide Adam from Never Summer. It's a really cool split board. We have a review on that too. A lot of fun. And uh, this has been a great partner to that board. So this is Sean Sewell with Engimit.com. Hopefully you found this insightful and helpful. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, ask some questions. I'll do my best to answer them if you have them. And until next time, take care.